My name is Harry Phelps, and I've been in the printing business for 39 years. We're almost a 24-hour operation. There isn't anything better than a cup of coffee to go with uh, the start of the day. I don't think there's a press room in the country that's not drinking coffee. Every morning, we receive a number of loads of uh, newsprint rolls to bring in to the building. The print storage area is able to hold in the area of three to 400 rolls. That would last us about three to five days. Take them rolls out to the press. Press operators load them on dollies. They load the roll. Another step in our process is uh, plate making. A plate is made out of aluminum. Image gets burned onto it by a laser. It goes through the process of development. It gets bent and punched so that we can hang it on our press cylinders out on the press. One printing plate 40 years ago was 40 pounds. Now a printing plate is one or two ounces. We pull the webs in, we make sure everything is ready to run. We roll that press up, we get up to a startup speed of 18,000. Our printing press is basically four stories high, upper level, which is what we call its superstructure where the pipe rollers are. The image is being transferred from the plate to the papers. The idea of a machine that can rotate full ton rolls of newsprint and paste them at 50,000 an hour is just mind boggling. There's a path that the sheet follows all the way to the folder that uh, folds and cuts our paper at the end of the printing. We have a conveyor system that picks them up. They travel along, down a long path to get to what we call the stackers that bundle a certain number of copies. Then they go onto carts. Those copies are going right onto dispatch trucks that are going out. We are the backbone of the community. We make a difference in people's lives. That's one of the reasons they call the newspaper business a daily miracle.